Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. A star that outshines our sun by an astonishing 600,000 to nearly 4 million times once existed approximately 13 billion light years away from Earth. This cosmic marvel known as Erendel is the most distant star ever observed, providing us with a window into the infancy of the universe itself. Recently, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its extraordinary observational power toward Erendel, achieving a feat that has left scientists and space enthusiasts alike in awe. Positioned so far away that its light began its journey when the universe was less than a billion years old, Erendel has earned the nickname Star of Cosmic Dawns, symbolizing its presence in an era when the very first stars and galaxies were forming. The groundbreaking telescope has not only captured Erendel's ancient light, but has also revealed new details about this stellar relic, offering unprecedented insights into the conditions of the early cosmos. By studying Erendel, researchers hope to unravel the mysteries of how the first stars ignited, what they were made of, and how their life cycles helped shape the universe we observe today. The initial discovery of this distant star by the aging Hubble Space Telescope was nothing short of astonishing, leaving scientists in awe. While it's not surprising that a star existed 13 billion years ago, the real marvel lies in our ability to observe it from Earth. The star's light traveled across 13 billion light years of space and time before reaching Hubble's mirror, showcasing a remarkable journey. Hubble's detection of Erendel, the universe's oldest known single star, marked one of its final monumental achievements. One of the most extraordinary aspects of this discovery is that Erendel, the most distant star ever observed, is visible independently of the galaxy. It resides in a truly rare and remarkable phenomenon. How is this possible? It all comes down to the fascinating power of a gravitational lens a natural cosmic trick that demonstrates just how wild and wonderful the universe can be. A gravitational lens occurs when the immense gravitational force of a massive object, such as a galaxy cluster, warps the very fabric of space-time. This warping acts like a gigantic magnifying glass, bending and amplifying light from distant objects that lie far behind the massive foreground object. In this case, the gravitational lens brought Erendel into sharp focus, isolating it from the surrounding light of its home galaxy and allowing astronomers to observe this single, ancient star, a feat that would otherwise be impossible. Typically, at such staggering distances, individual stars blend into the hazy glow of their galaxies, rendered invisible even to the most advanced telescopes. But thanks to the perfect alignment of the gravitational lens, the light from Erendel has been magnified to a point where it stands out like a beacon in the vastness of space. Imagine the serendipity of the cosmos aligning just right to give us this breathtaking glimpse into the distant past. What do discoveries like this reveal to scientists? Quite a lot, actually. For the first time, if we spot a star typical of the young universe, we get a real glimpse into what the very first stars might have looked like. These details allow scientists to piece together the universe's evolutionary story and finally answer long-standing cosmic mysteries. Until now, we've only had theories about the first stars, no definitive proof. Erendel was expected to provide that proof, but then the James Webb Space Telescope came along and shook things up. So, what exactly did Webb discover about Erendel? Picture this. A single star suddenly becomes the universe's biggest celebrity. Erendel lit up headlines and captured imaginations worldwide. This ancient star, the oldest one we've observed, was supposed to help answer the monumental question of how the universe began. Scientists believe that around 13 billion years ago, the cosmic dawn arrived, when the dark universe was illuminated by the first generation of stars. Erendel even has an epic name to match its celestial status. Derived from Old English, Erendel means morning star or rising light. Tolkien fans might also recognize the name from the Silmarillion, giving it an extra layer of legend. For a while, it seemed this star would etch its name into the cosmic history books. But then, the story took a twist. Erendel, while ancient, isn't quite the oldest star out there. Nor is it the elusive first-generation star that scientists had hoped to find. Stars from the universe's first epoch are thought to have been blue supergiants, up to 1,000 times larger than our sun, 
burning brightly, but living very short lives. Erendel, however, didn't fit that profile. That's not to say Erendel isn't extraordinary. It shines with a brilliance between 600,000 and nearly 4 million times that of our sun, truly a cosmic beacon. But further analysis revealed that its composition is surprisingly similar to modern giant stars, meaning it wasn't a relic from the universe's first generation after all. While Erendel didn't quite rewrite the book on Cosmic Dawn, it's still a dazzling reminder of how far we've come in exploring the universe, and how many mysteries are still waiting to be solved. Not long after Arendel's discovery, science was hit with another revelation. The James Webb Space Telescope identified even older stars and galaxies, some dating back 13.6 billion years, making them about 600 million years older than Arendel. Once celebrated as the Star of the Dawn, Arendel was quickly reclassified as just one among many stars from a less remarkable period in the universe's history. Despite this downgrade, Erendel remained a fascinating subject for scientists. Its light, emitted around 13 billion years ago, still offers critical insights. By analyzing the star's light waves, telescopes like Hubble and Webb can determine its chemical composition, age, spectral class, and whether it exhibits any unusual traits. These details help piece together the puzzle of how stars formed in the early universe. Then came another surprising twist. Webb discovered evidence of a cooler, redder companion star near Erendel. This suggests Erendel might be part of a binary star system, consisting of a massive, hot star and a smaller, cooler partner. If true, this would challenge prior assumptions about the early universe, where binary star systems were thought to be rare. This potential pairing opens up new possibilities. The cooler companion could help scientists refine their understanding of the system's chemical makeup and age. Moreover, binary systems like this might reveal how interactions between massive stars and their surroundings influenced the spread of heavier elements in the early universe, potentially more than previously believed. Further observations with Webb aim to confirm if Erendel truly belongs to a binary system and uncover its role in shaping the evolution of the first stars. Each discovery continues to deepen our understanding of the universe's earliest chapters. Parade of Ancient Stars the universe's oldest celestial gems. Can we ever be certain we've found the oldest stars in the universe? Since Erendel's discovery and its subsequent scientific reevaluation, researchers have grown more cautious about labeling stars with grand titles like Dawn Star. Yet, thanks to gravitational lensing, astronomers continue to uncover individual stars that make Erendel seem like a cosmic youngster. One such star, SMSS J0 Tree 1300.36-670839.3, clocks in at over 13.6 billion years old and resides in the halo of our galaxy. This star contains so few heavy elements that it's believed to be a direct descendant of the first generation of stars. Its minimal metal content is typical of stars formed during the universe's earliest phases, likely exploding as supernovae shortly after. Scientists celebrated this discovery as it confirmed their theories about the massive stars of the first light. Then came HD 1483, which upended expectations yet again. Dubbed the Methuselah star, this ancient celestial object is approximately 14.5 billion years old, older than the universe itself. Located just 190 light years away, its age defies current cosmological understanding, leaving scientists puzzled. Some suggest the age discrepancy might stem from a measurement error, but definitive explanations remain elusive. Another remarkable find, HE 1523-0901, also lies within our Milky Way. At about 13.2 billion years old, this star was precisely dated using uranium and thorium decay, a highly accurate method. It's among the oldest stars whose age has been confidently determined, existing just 600 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery aligned with previous theories, offering some reassurance to astronomers. But the story doesn't end there. Enter BD plus 17 degrees 3248, a star with an estimated age of 13.8 billion years. Using uranium decay to measure its age, scientists achieved a high degree of certainty about its ancient origins. However, this poses a significant problem. 
If BDE plus 17 degrees 3248 is truly 13.8 billion years old, it couldn't have formed alongside the Big Bang. 2 Mass J1808-2002-5104378b is yet another celestial discovery shaking up what we thought we knew. This faint light found in the Milky Way's galactic halo dates back about 13.5 billion years. With its extremely low mass, the star shows signs of being linked to the first generation of stars. It was likely massive, bright, and short-lived, potentially making it a direct descendant of those primordial stars. However, this remains unproven, leaving researchers in search of more concrete evidence for these ancient Population II stars. Population II stars are theorized to be the universe's earliest stars, forming roughly 13.5 billion years ago. Despite the James Webb Space Telescope's ability to peer back to that era, no direct evidence of these populations has been found. Meanwhile, the globular cluster M92 has been dated at an astounding 13.8 billion years old, suggesting it could be a proto-galaxy formed during the universe's infancy. Its age precisely aligns with the current estimate of the universe's age, raising intriguing questions. Could this cluster represent a remnant of the universe's very first structures? These discoveries suggest the timeline of cosmic evolution might need a significant rewrite. Adding to the complexity, galaxies spotted by Webb, some older than the supposed Big Bang, challenge the long-held belief that the universe is 13.8 billion years old. If these findings hold, they imply the universe could be far older, possibly 26.7 billion years old. This raises a fundamental question. How are scientists so certain the Big Bang occurred 13.8 billion years ago when no one has directly observed it? The age estimate is primarily based on measurements of the cosmic microwave background radiation, believed to be the Big Bang's afterglow. Additional factors, like the universe's expansion rate and the Hubble constant, have supported this theory for years. However, recent discoveries challenge this framework. For instance, errors in measuring galaxy expansion rates, known as the Hubble tension, suggest discrepancies in our understanding of the universe's age. These inconsistencies may have been an early clue that the cosmos is older than previously calculated, hinting at a much more complex story of the universe's origins. Think of the universe like a balloon. Scientists have long imagined that if you let all the air out, the universe would shrink back to a single starting point, the Big Bang, about 13.8 billion years ago. This idea, backed by various measurements and methods, has shaped our understanding of cosmic history for decades. But here's the twist. Recent discoveries have thrown a wrench into this tidy theory. Astronomers have found undeniable evidence of stars and galaxies that existed when the universe was supposedly in its infancy, just a chaotic, hot soup with no solid matter. These ancient celestial objects are proof that the early universe was more complex than we ever imagined, challenging long-held beliefs about its age and evolution. Now imagine believing in something your whole life and suddenly being told, actually it might not be true. That's where science finds itself today. While many researchers are embracing this exciting shift, others, rooted in older theories, are hesitant to let go. It's a fascinating mix of curiosity, pride, and resistance to change. In a bold challenge to our understanding of the cosmos, a Canadian researcher has proposed that the universe is not 13.8 billion years old, but an astonishing 26.7 billion years. This groundbreaking idea, grounded in solid math and physics, could explain puzzling observations like ancient galaxies that appear far too developed for their age, recently revealed by the James Webb Space Telescope. The theory revisits how we measure cosmic expansion and suggests adjustments to models of the early universe, providing a plausible timeline for the growth of stars, galaxies, and black holes. An older universe would also deepen our understanding of cosmic phenomena like dark matter, dark energy, and the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang. If true, this extended timeline could revolutionize our understanding of the universe, inspiring new discoveries and a fresh perspective on how everything came to be. Could the universe really be twice as old as we thought? The answer may change everything we know about the cosmos. And that's it. Thanks for exploring the cosmos with Spaceverse. 
From ancient stars to the mysteries of the universe's true age, the journey has just begun. Don't miss out on our next dive into the wonders of space, hit that subscribe button and stay curious. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars.